Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to share 7 penny stocks with massive growth potential. The first stock on the list is Luoking Technology. Luoking Technology Corp. is a graphics data processing technology company, which engages in the provision of interactive location-based services. This week the company is in the spotlight following its latest acquisition. Luoking finalized the deal with Amapco Technologies. Amapco provides navigation and electronic map services in China. In response to the news, Shui Song Song, chairman and CEO of Luoking, stated, This is a significant milestone in the company's history as we have created one company with technologies and a product portfolio that will provide us with a clear competitive advantage in the fields of autonomous driving, smart electric vehicles, intelligent transportation, and smart cities, enabling us to accelerate our development in this industry while being accretive to Luoking's financials. With a diverse portfolio of offerings centered on emerging tech, LKCO could be one of the names to know heading into the second quarter. The second stock on the list is Diffusion Pharmaceuticals. Diffusion Pharmaceuticals Inc., a clinical stage biotechnology company, develops treatments for life-threatening medical conditions. Much of the attention this week has centered around Diffusion's latest earnings report. Diffusion had $18.5 million in cash and cash equivalents as of December 31, 2020. The biotech company also gained an additional $36.7 million in aggregate gross proceeds as of this past Tuesday, which came from a common stock offering in February, as well as the cash exercise of outstanding warrants. President and CEO of Diffusion, Robert Cabuzzi said, the momentum we gained exiting 2020 has continued into 2021. We have completed the study of TSC in hospitalized COVID-19 patients, designed a series of three clinical trials to be conducted during 2021 to evaluate the effects of TSC on oxygenation, and secured the company's financial position by completing our $34.5 million equity raise. The next stock on the list is Eterna Zenteris. Eterna Zenteris Inc. operates as a specialty biopharmaceutical company commercializing and developing therapeutics and diagnostic tests. Recently, the company announced that it entered into a worldwide sub-licensable patent for a COVID-19 vaccine candidate. Dr. Klaus Paulini, CEO of Eterna, states that over the last months, we learned that the original SARS-CoV-2 strain mutates rapidly, and these mutant strains continue to spread throughout the population. It has been reported that the currently available vaccines for COVID-19 are effective against the known mutant strains. However, we believe there is the potential to develop an improved vaccine which relies on several SARS-CoV-2 antigens in parallel with the goal of improving the immune response against mutated viruses. Quote dot. Also, the company states that this vaccine candidate could be a more effective product than existing ones. Also this substance does not need to be refrigerated at similar temperatures as currently approved vaccines. This means that the logistical issues we're running into right now could be avoided. Eterna's current leading product candidate is Massimorolin. This is the only FDA and European Commission approved oral test for identifying adult growth hormone deficiency. With its promising pipeline in mind, AEZS could be another penny stock to watch. The next stock on the list is Inspire MD. Inspire MD Inc. is a medical device company, which engages in the development and commercialization of the stent platform technology for the treatment of complex vascular and coronary disease. This month attention has focused on the company after it released its fourth quarter and full-year financial results. While its revenues decreased, its cash position greatly improved after an $11.5 million public offering in mid-2020 and the recent underwritten public offering in February. Traders may be focusing on the company's clinical trial for its Seaguard carotid stent system in the U.S. Back in February, InspireMD engaged heart clinical consultants. They are a contract research organization and will conduct the trial. This is the first U.S.-based study of SeaGuard and could demonstrate its potential to prevent stroke caused by carotid artery disease. Now the market awaits any further updates on this. The next stock on the list is MICT. 
MICT Inc. engages in the design, development, manufacture and sale of rugged mobile computing devices. It provides computer-based systems of mobile resource management for fleet management markets. On March 4, MICT announced the closing of a $54 million registered direct offering. The offering is for 19,285,715 shares of common stock and 19,285,715 warrants to purchase the same amount of shares at $2.80. After this announcement, MICT stock price increased about 5%. Further to this, MICT's subsidiary Micronet received a commercial order for its SmartCam connected product. It received a purchase order for 2,000 units of the product from one of the largest telematics service providers in the U.S. This order is worth about $900,000. Darren Mercer, the CEO of MICT, said, Whilst our focus is on the continued development of our three main fintech verticals we are very pleased to see Micronet's ongoing success and progress towards gaining market share in the fast-growing video telematics sector, which continues to justify our investment in the company. Since the announcement, MICT stock has increased by about 30%. The next stock on the list is CheckCap. CheckCap Limited is a clinical stage medical diagnostics company engaging in the development of ingestible imaging capsule system for colorectal cancer screening. Since the start of the year, Check stock has been one worth watching. Shares have climbed from around 40 cents on December 31st to highs of over $4.40 this month. Even after pulling back over the past few days, Check is still trading over 400% higher than it began the year. This week, CheckCap made another significant advancement. The company announced that it received FDA IDE approval for the pivotal study of C-SCAN. This will allow the company to begin this pivotal study for people at average risk of CRC and are poor candidates for a colonoscopy with an incomplete optical colonoscopy. The CEO of the corporation, Alex Ovidia, stated, the IDE approval is a significant milestone for CheckCap. Now with IDE, in hand, we aim to enter the last phase of demonstrating the clinical potential of C-SCAN in the U.S., with the ultimate goal of commercialization in this important market. It's also worth mentioning that analysts at H.C. Wainwright lifted their price target on check stock. The firm increased its $1.50 target to $4. H.C. currently maintains a buy on the penny stock. The next stock on the list is Advaxis. Advaxis Inc. is a biotechnology company, which engages in the discovery, development and commercialization of cancer immunotherapies. Earlier in the week, Advaxis announced results from its first quarter of 2021. In addition to commencing a $9.2 million public offering, the company worked heavily to enroll patients in various studies and move through several trial processes. This includes a phase 2 trial currently occurring with its drug ADXS 503 in combination with Keytruda. CEO Kenneth Berlin stated that, We are encouraged by the growing body of evidence that suggests ADXS 503 has the potential to synergistically enhance and or restore sensitivity to checkpoint inhibitors. At the end of January, Advaxis reported having more than $33.3 million in cash on hand. It states that this should be enough capital to fund its obligations and business operations until May of next year. Additionally, the company managed to more than have its R&D expenses from $4.9 million in first quarter 2020 to $2.6 million in first quarter 2021. As we see, it looks like Advaxis is in an advantageous position in terms of its free-flowing cash. Because it has several large programs in the works, investors seem excited about the long term with Advaxis and its pipeline. Since December, shares of ADXS have shot up by over 170%. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button to receive more like it in the future.